this at a moment, but um, I have a black and white photograph of a painting that was first displayed at the fair in 1897. It was painted in Oswego County in 1896. And this black and white photograph was taken of it. It hung, it went through a gallery fire and it was repaired and brought to the fair in 1897. It was this large, it was nine feet long, and somehow it has been lost. <laughs> How you lose a painting this size in the town of Oswego, I'm not sure. But um, I have a black and white photograph. I've got verbal descriptions of what the painting looked like. I have another painting I found on the internet that very that the same artist painted. His name was Charles Henry Grant, very close to the same composition. And it comes very close to the colors described here. So I'm using these colors, this layout, and I also have the way that his instructor at the National Academy of Design in New York um, taught him how to paint, which is the old school, great master's way of everything was done monochromatically in brown, and then you build up glazes over the top of it. So I decided that I was going to recreate this painting, and maybe somebody, when they see it, will say, I have to hold up in my attic or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> but um, it's got quite a history. It's a, it's a good painting with a bad reputation. It, was, it went through a, a gallery fire, and then um, the county historian called me the other day and said that a woman in town that was a student of his cop, made a copy of it, and that painting burned up in a fire at um, Riverside Cemetery. So I figured this is the one that's supposed to survive. <laughs> that's what I'm repainting it. But I hope wherever it ends up, they have good fire insurance. But <laughs> um, I've been working on it for about a month now. I've been painting at the H. Lee White Maritime Museum. And Windsor and Newton donated all the, the paints and the brushes because his instructor at the National Academy of Design said that Windsor and Newton was his, was his favorite type of paint. So. I'm oh, about uh, halfway through. Halfway through. Yeah, I'm about halfway done with it. Um, this section in here is, is pretty much completed. Some of this is completed. But the way this is done is you just work it in different areas. You keep building up these places. There's a lot more work to do in the clouds and in the water, making it look wet. And my background is an aerospace painting. That was his, a painter for the space program. He painted oh, space yeah. shuttles, space station, Hubble Space Telescope, and a lot of SDI type stuff. And I started getting into these great marine painters yeah, that came from Oswego in the late 1800s. And surprisingly enough, their careers and my career were very similar. They were painting, we think of them as painting these old ships, but they created the, you know, they were painting the, the latest ships of their time. This guy moved out to San Francisco in 1907, and he painted Teddy Roosevelt's Great White Fleet when it entered the, the Golden Gate. He traveled with the Navy to Australia, he painted the Arizona battleship. Um, so he, he went on to paint battleships, paint great paintings of battleships. I have a, a presentation that I could show, but it's kind of long. I don't know if you want to sit through something like that, but it tells about the whole life of Charles Henry Grant. He was a contemporary of James Gale Tyler. Um, Tyler is uh, the artist that Tyler Hall is named after. The SUNY Art College is named after Tyler. So there were. There's been some great artists come out of Oswego County, and uh, I just thought I'd do this and dedicate it. I've been teaching at the CNY Art Center, also, and those, that's the kids' versions of the of the painting there. <laughs> Sorry, those are better than yours. <laughs> Is this your first? Well, time? those are finished. Theirs are more accurate <laughs> than yours. <laughs> Is this your first time here? That's yeah, this is the first time I've, I've done a live painting demonstration like this. So, so um, painting that all through the fair then? Yes, yeah, so I hope to complete it here at the fair. And then it's going to remain in the swiggle and uh, hopefully survive the, the decades. Are you excited to have people, you know, come in here and watch you uh, work? Yes, I love to talk to the people, especially the kids have great questions. It's funny, the adults want to know if it's an accurate depiction of a particular event, and the kids want to know, are the people going to be okay? And <laughs> I say, well, you know, it's, you've got to kind of decide that for yourself. Is the ship going to survive here, and what's going to happen? So it's a, it's a typical romantic, realist painting of that time, which was kind of a man-against-nature type of thing. And, um, but uh, he was, these guys were great at painting water, and that's one of the things I want to do is get better at painting water because I'm going to go on to paint more 
aerospace work, and the, and the newest space vehicle splashes down like a Apollo capsule. So that's the next painting I'm going to do. I'm going to do a big painting of the Orion spacecraft.